Good morning, greetings friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben. Nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado, I use nutritional supplements or other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That's why we're here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis without intervention, without surgery, without drugs, it does it on its own, it does need its raw materials to do its work, raw materials we call nutrition and nutritional supplementation, and that's why we're here every day on the Bright Side. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you do that. If you have a health challenge you want help with, if you have questions about formulations or ingredients, or if you have a success story you'd like to share, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about skin health issues, skin ingredients, if you have questions or if you have a success story about our Truth Skin Health products, 844-236-6010, we'd love to hear, we'd love to hear from you. And if you're interested in purchasing any of our Truth Skin Health products, head over to truthtreatments.com. Take a look at our Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Serum, Omega-6 Healing Cream, or our Truth Balm. Never any preservatives, never any fragrance, never wax filler, water, silicon, oil, stuff you don't need. That's my promise to you. That's why I called it the truth. All our ingredients are functional and active. They do something for you. And shouldn't it be that way? Why should you have to pay for 90% bullcrap? which is what most creams and lotions are. It's offensive. Anyway, truthtreatments.com, treat, truth truthtreatments.com, check it out, especially the retinol 5% gel. If you want to purchase any of our, our longevity products, please go to brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or pharmacistben.com. You can order products right off the website. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off the website as well, or you can call the Brightside Ben phone team at 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. All right, welcome back to The Bright Side. Once again, we've been talking about inflammation. Last, uh, last program, we talked about blood inflammation. We don't often think of the blood as a kind of tissue or a structure, but technically, it's a liquid tissue. It's a structure in the body. The blood is a structure, and the same inflammatory processes that take place in the various organs of the body and various tissues of the body, the kind of inflammation, microinflammation that we talk about on this program all the time, or macroinflammation, the kind of inflammation we hear about, the kind of inflammation we think we know about. We don't always know what we're talking about when we say inflammation, but the kind of inflammation that we refer to on this program and in, in the culture happens in the blood, and it's a major, major, major problem. In fact, the leading blood, uh, the leading, uh, among the leading prescription drugs, at least in terms of, of dollars, are blood thinning drugs. Blood thinning drugs are anti-inflammatories for the blood. Blood thinning drugs are Motrin for the blood. It's the same thing that's happening. You guys see how the same patterns repeat themselves over and over again, which is why I always say we don't need specialists. Specialists and special diseases and special health issues and special diagnoses, the same basic things happen underneath all chronic degenerative disease, the same basic functions, the same basic chemistry happens behind all health misery, even accelerated aging. Everything from hyperpigmentation to acne to heart disease to diabetes, it's all the same thing. And that is, my friends, the best news anybody could ever hear if they're dealing with a chronic long-term 
degenerative disease, i.e. chronic long-term health misery. It's the same stuff. And specialists, I, I don't want to get off on doctors, but I'm telling you, there's a special place in, in my, uh, and how ticked off I get about doctors anyway when it comes to specialists. How dare there be specialists? Specialists. Has any specialist ever helped anybody? Has any specialist ever cured anybody's or reversed anybody's special disease? Anyway, the same kind of inflammation that's behind arthritis, is behind kidney disease, is behind diabetes, is behind it all. And it starts in the blood. The same kind of inflammation that's in our joints when we have arthritis is in our blood when we have a chronic degenerative disease. The same kind of inflammation that's a protective response marked by the four signs, the four cardinal signs of inflammation, heat, pain, swelling, and redness, or if you like Latin, dolor, color, tumor, and rubor, pain, heat, swelling, and redness, or growth, or puffiness and, and redness. The same thing that happens in the joints when you have arthritis happens in the blood. We always say the body is made up of cells and stuff. The blood is made up of cells and stuff. You got the red cell, the red blood cells, the white blood cells, and then you got the stuff, the proteins and the and the fluid. The fluid is a kind of tissue. It's a liquid tissue. And the blood, which is about seven or eight percent of the average body weight, aside from the cells, the red blood cells and the white uh, white blood cells, is technically stuff. It's like bone. It's liquid bone. It's like collagen. It's like liquid collagen, liquid tissue. That's kind of interesting when you think about it. It's a liquid solid. It's liquid stuff, circulating solid, a circulating tissue. The blood is the life. The blood is the life. It's the sacred space. First of all, the blood is conducting electrical energy. We are electrical beings. Yeah, we talk about chemistry all the time on this program. And if you've been listening to this program for any length of time, you're a chemist. You know, you may not have a chemistry degree, but if you've been listening to this program you are a, and getting it, you're a chemist. And I love chemistry. I especially love biochemistry. When I first heard about biochemistry or first, you know, Biochem 101 in pharmacy school, I was floored. I had no idea that all that stuff was happening in the body. All that chemistry is going on in the body. And my mission in life, one of my missions in life, is to have everybody appreciate biochemistry like I do. And I know there are a lot of folks like that. But even more fundamentally than chemistry, it's about electricity. Yes, we're biochemical beings, but the biochemistry works by electricity. That's right. Chemistry works by electricity. Electricity is the fundamental biological force. If you want to dig deeper, you can go into the, you know, physicists say there's four major forces. A force is a kind of thing that nobody understands. It's the fundamental action in the universe. The fundamental actions in the universe, there's four of them. And physicists are obsessed with trying to figure out what they all have in common. They haven't been able to figure it out yet. That's called unified, the, uh, that's called uh, the grand, uh, grand unifying theory, the gut. G-U-T. They're trying to figure out how the heck these four fundamental things, I'm going to call them things, they call them forces, how they all work together. But in the body, the four forces, by the way, there uh, two of them involve quantum. I'm not going to get into that. They call it the strong force and the weak force. But the two that are fundamentally important for us as biological, where we have control anyway, is gravity, which affects the body, but primarily electromagnetism. We are electromagnetic beings. One of the great health crises that nobody's talking about, or great, uh, great health challenges that the human body has had to confront in the last 150 years is our manipulation of electromagnetics. Today, we're swimming in an ocean of electromagnetics that didn't exist a mere 100 years ago. Can you imagine if you had the eyes to see the electromagnetic energy that we, you know, the, the universe is electromagnetic energy anyway, but we, radio waves and, and microwaves and x-rays and, and television waves, you know, as you're standing there or sitting there, as the case may be, channel two is going right through your body, channel three and, and 850 KOA and, you know, uh, uh, 630 KHOW and all these radio waves and television waves and, and, and uh, uh, electromagnetic energy coming from the telephone and the computer and every, uh, even light bulbs. We're swimming in electromagnetic energy. So understanding the electromagnetics of the body is also important and the blood is majorly electromagnetic. It's generating an electrical charge as it's moving, which is why we need to move, which is why inflamed blood is such a problem. It slows down the electrical energy in the body. And that can't help, my friends, but lead to disease. Tell that to your next specialist who wants to put you on a drug. I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back. 
we are back on the bright side. I am Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for joining us. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on our archive page at brightsideben.com. You can also head over to benfuchsarchives.com and search that archive page as well. We've got the search engine if you miss a program or you want, you're interested in a particular subject or topic. One thing I will guarantee you, if you're listening to this program or listening to the archives, you will be smarter. You will be a better, smarter person. Better by, and when I say better, I mean better in terms of being able to control your life, your biochemistry. This is a program for smart people, and we got lots and lots and lots of original health information, stuff you don't hear anywhere else on our archive pages at brightsideben.com, also pharmacistben.com, years of archives. We're here every day doing the same thing, helping spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. If you want to get paid to help spread the word about how important and powerful a good nutritional supplement program can be. If you want to get paid to share the message, products, ideas, protocols, strategies, concepts with your friends, you want to join my team. Call 866-735-247. You tell me you want to join the Brightside Bend team. We can do this together. We can change the world one person at a time. And I know many of you guys listening to this program are doing just that changing the lives of your friends, your loved ones, changing your life with this information and products as well. The Beyond Tangy Tangerine, the Healthy Start Pack, the BioLumin Nightly Essence. You can find out all about it by calling the Brightside Bend phone team at 866-735-2470 or you can head over to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com or criticalhealthnews.com and uh, check out the products right off the website. All right, so we're talking about the blood Blood inflammation is like arthritis of the blood, and it is the key to understanding disease. The blood is the sacred space. It's the life. It's the only part of the body that reaches every one of the 100 trillion cells of the body. The blood contacts every one of the 100 trillion cells of the body. That's amazing, and that's what makes it the single most important component in the body. But blood diseases, blood clotting, they call it blood clotting, but really it's blood inflammation, is a big, big problem. Go If you look at the top 10 list of drugs every year, it used to be warfarin, now it's uh, Embrel and Pradaxa, and, not Embrel, but Pradaxa and Eliquis, Xarelto. These are all blood thinning drugs, and they're nasty, 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 because the blood's not supposed to be modified with drugs. It's tightly regulated, highly protected. When we say all disease is cell disease, it's true, but all cell disease is preceded, pre preceded by dirty, toxic, inflamed blood, which is clotted blood. Your blood will clot under emergency conditions. That's why they give you blood thinners when you leave the hospital after surgery. The first thing they do when you come out of surgery is give you a blood thinner. Why? Because your blood is freaked out. Your body's freaked out. It doesn't know it was on a surgical table. It thinks it was just eaten by a tiger. From a biochemical perspective, a surgical procedure is like being eaten by a wild animal. And all the chemistry of being eaten by a wild animal kicks in, including clotting the blood. So they give you blood thinners. And then they tell you not to take your vitamin E and omega-3s because they'll thin the blood too much. If any doctor ever tells you that, you should, in your imagination, picture a bone on top of his head. And every time you look at him, look at him like he's a bonehead. If he ever tells you not to take omega-3s and vitamin E when you're sick, when you're surgically manipulated, or surg and I'm not saying, obviously, there's times you need surgery. But you need omega-3s and you need, need vitamin E because they're essential. And there's never a time you don't want an essential nutrient. Well, a couple days ago, somebody was asking on the program about something called glutamine. And glutamine is a, not an essential nutrient, but it's conditionally essential. And there are some doctors, no names, who are saying don't use glutamine because it feeds cancer cells, because it's an excitotoxin, blah, 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 blah. Negative. It's a conditionally essential nutrient that you need. You always need your essential nutrients and pretty much always need your conditionally essential nutrients, which include glutamine. Anyway, the, gut is the, key, or the blood is the key, and the gut is the entrance into the blood. 
That's why we talk about the gut so much, right there in a nutshell. All diseases sell disease. All cell disease is preceded by dirty blood, and dirty blood is a function of a broken down digestive lining, unless you're injecting stuff in through uh, intravenously. Unless you're an IV drug user, or maybe vaccines for that matter, which, uh, which allow you to breach the barrier and it go directly into the blood. That's the big problem with vaccines, whether or not you think that they're good for curing or preventing. By the way, you hear about the new Zika vaccine. Wait till you hear about that one. We'll talk about Zika here hopefully in the coming days. Anyway, if the whole problem with vaccines, whether or not whether or not you think that they're very important for protecting us from infectious diseases, the problem is you're now bypassing your barrier and going right into the blood. You're bypassing the, the digestive system's immune and uh, protective functions and going right into the blood through the skin, and that is not a good idea. Not to mention you don't know what, the, what kind of crap is in that vaccine. That's aside from that. Anything that goes through the skin into the blood has to be done, has to be looked at with great care or taken great care before you do something like that because you're breaching a major, major defensive barrier, which is the, uh, the gut, by sticking stuff right through the skin. And that's anything, let alone the, the prions and mercury and living entities that are in the vaccines. The entrance into the blood primarily is the gut, and it's supposed to be that way. But we're supposed to have a strong gut, and that's why on this program, you will always hear us focusing first and foremost on digestive health. I'm not a food Nazi. I'm not one of those, you know, you only eat raw and you got to eat organic, blah, blah, blah. I'm not, that's not what we're talking about here. And I'm not beating anybody up for their food choices. I'm just saying that because the gut is the entrance into the sacred space, it has to be regarded with, it has to be treated with great care and regarded as the, fun, the, the ultimate ultimate defensive barrier, which it is. Diabetes, second leading cause of death in this country, and maybe first if you factor in the heart disease that is associated with it, is a blood disease. Diabetes is a dirty blood disease. It fits right into the model, folks. 100 million Americans, one out of three, just have blood sugar problems. That's a blood disease or a blood issue. Dirt, uh, sugar represents dirt except a particularly deadly form of dirt because it's toxic after a certain amount. Yes, I'm not you know, talking about the small amount you need to run your brain and other systems in the body. You need a small amount of sugar, and that's true. But after that, it's considered by the body dirt, toxic dirt. So diabetes is a dirty blood disease. Leaky gut syndrome, broken down digestive lining, dirty blood issue. And then the adrenal thyroid complex. Again, that's, a that's also a blood issue. The adrenal glands are our major blood pressure, one of the major blood pressure controlling systems. The kidneys and the, and the adrenal glands regulate the blood pressure. Of course, the heart's involved, the liver's involved, all the, all the syst many systems are involved. But the key points for blood pressure are the adrenals, i.e. stress, which is why the fastest way to lower your blood pressure is to relax your body. No drugs required. Again, if you have any doctor who puts you on a beta blocker for your blood pressure before he tells you to relax your body as a blood pressure lowering strategy, every time you look at him, picture that little bone on top of his head because he's a bonehead. Worse, those drugs are awful. Beta blockers, calcium channel blockers, even the so-called mild, the mildest blood pressure drugs, antihypertensives, are the diuretics. And those are no picnic either. You're losing minerals, forcing your body to expel potassium and calcium and other minerals. Ugh, I'm telling you. All right. We're coming back with your phone calls. 844-236-6010 is your number. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You are listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. Okay, we are back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. Hang tight if you're on hold. <clears throat> Excuse me, we'll get to you in just a quick second. Uh, reading from the journal Science. New study indicates why children are likelier to develop food allergies. Apparently, it's proteins contained in food that stimulate the immune system. That's from... Uh, the journal Science, uh, La Jolla Institute for Allergy and Immunology, researcher Charles Sir is quoted as saying, uh, Tregs, which are a type of immune marker, were present in children who had food allergy issues. Tregs immune system activation is associated with proteins in foods, the wrong kinds of proteins in foods, proteins that activate the immune system. Again, digestive involvement, 
foods, food allergies. It's all the same problem, you guys. How gut inflammation sparks colon cancer. This is from the journal Cell Stem Cell, or yeah, I guess it's called Cell Stem Cell. Duke biomedical engineers have come to the conclusion that chronic inflammation in the gut increases the risk of colon cancer by as much as 500%. No kidding. Cancer itself, my friends, the emperor of all maladies, the ultimate scourge, is an inflammatory issue. It's a protective issue. It's a defensive response, long-term defensive response. Again, this is good news. This is great news. Once we figure out what's getting into the body, into the blood inappropriately, our bodies cannot help but begin the recovery process, especially if we simultaneously make sure we're using our Mighty 90 essential nutrients. That's the secret of fasting, right there, in a nutshell. That is the secret of the power of fasting. You give your blood a break. You give your digestive system a break and you give your blood a break. And again, I'm not here to beat up anybody on their food choices. I eat crap as much as, maybe not as much as anybody, but enough. It's not about that. It's about if you're dealing with a chronic degenerative disease, it involves inflammation. Inflammation is defense, and that means food and the digestive system first and foremost. All right. I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. Tanya in L.A., Los Angeles. What's up, Tanya? Welcome to the Bright Side. Well, hi. Once again, how you doing? Hey, I'm, I'm doing good. Um, I do have an issue. I need for you to pick up my email. And uh -oh. when I am, picking, am I not picking up your emails? I get so many. No. What, what did you ask me? Tell me. About um, L-arginine. And you emailed me? Yeah, and with okay. regards to high blood pressure. My high blood pressure is through the roof. I'm chill, girl. Ranges. Chill out. Take a chill I'm pill. My, I, I, sometimes you can't chill out, sir. And sometimes I know. You have to have other and you're in L.A., and you're especially, you're in the, are you in the city? Right in the city? I, no, I'm right outside. Okay, no, I can. I'm, I'm teasing you because I definitely know what you're talking about. It's not. It's easier said than done, right? How about a hot tub? Can you get in a hot tub or a hot bath? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm going to get a cast, so I won't be able to do that. <laughs> okay, I won't be able to do that. But yeah, so, you know, even so putting water on your face, even hot water in the face with a washcloth will do it. Mm -hmm. Take a okay, hot washcloth. I, yeah. I need a, I need a, I need a strategy other than a mechanical one. I'm going to need something internal too. Because right. I understand what you're saying. I've got. I'm going to get a chair that's going to relax me. I'm going to do a whole bunch of different things. However, yeah. I do you want need some nutrition. A yeah. huh? oh, you want some nutritional ideas too? Yeah. Okay. And here you go. No problem. Some supplemental. I told you about the L arginine. I'm that's a great one. That's a great one. That's not enough though. 500 milligrams okay. is not enough. Let, let me talk about all that stuff. We'll talk about arginine, and I'll give you some great nutritional strategies for lowering your blood pressure. Right off the bat, I'll tell you a great one right now. Timed release niacin, 200 milligrams a day. Timed release okay. niacin right away. That's a, And there's more. But I want to say one thing about, uh, we're talking about the washcloth, and I've been, we talk a lot about these relaxation strategies, and they're all important. The face, we carry a lot of tension in our face and in our jaws especially. And a lot of TMJ issues and even back issues and migraine headache issues are related to tension, tightness that's chronic in the face area and especially in the jaws and especially in the eyes, right around the eyes and in the jaw. If you could figure out a way to relax your jaw and relax your eyes, your body, your brain will get the signal that everything is okay just by doing that. Can you, can you picture that, Tanya? Can you, can you yeah. just relax your eyes? and your, Can you feel how you're relaxing your whole body when you just do that? Yeah, I'm doing it now. Isn't that interesting? Just by re When was the last time your specialist, your high blood pressure specialist, your cardiologist, told you about relaxing your eyes to lower your blood pressure? Do you know you just added years to your life, Tanya? If you do that just a little bit, a couple minutes a day, you will add years to your life and reduce your risk of chronic disease states. If you're in a tense situation, you're in a job interview or you know, you're on a date or whatever, some kind of stressful situation, if you're public speaking, relax your jaw and relax your eyes. The brain will get your, the signal that everything is right in the world and it will send relaxing hormones through the body and shut down and, and reduce inflammation. Now, as far as nutrition goes, Tanya, I'm going to go fast because i got a bunch of calls I want to get to. There's lots of great nutrients. The aforementioned niacin is phenomenal for lowering bl blood pressure. Magnesium, phenomenal for lowering blood pressure, high doses. B vitamins, phenomenal for lowering blood pressure in addition to niacin, vitamin B3, thiamine, 
vitamin B12, very, very important. Even vitamin B2, vitamin B6, super duper important. That's your Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Uh, arginine, you said, that's a, a great one. Coenzyme Q10 and, uh, and uh, vitamin E and omega-3 fatty acids, also wonderful. More long-term, though, not quite as rapid. And then there's more, well, there's lots more, but I'm just going to tell you one more. The electrolytes, potassium and calcium and sodium and chloride and magnesium, and these are found in veggies and veggie juices. So making sure you're veggie juicing like it's going out of style and then making sure you're doing your Beyond Tangy Tangerine, which you can think of as a electrolyte drink, a water-soluble nutrient drink, primarily electrolytes. All right, so you got lots of stuff there, Tanya, and don't forget to lighten up and 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 uh, washcloth on the eyes, hot washcloth on the eyes, or just even relaxing the eyes. Okay, I'm gonna let you go, okay, Tanya. Remember my email, okay? Uh, is, did you? When did you send it? A while ago? Hey, I, I'll resend it. Resend it today, and I promise I'll get back to you. Put in the. Um, um, with my name in. Okay. Yeah, put your name in the subject. In the subject. Okay. I'm sorry, Ty. Thanks. Uh, have a great day. All right. Talk to you later. Uh, let's go to Eliza in Idaho. What's up, Eliza? Welcome to the bright side. Thank you. Hey. What's Hi. What's crack a lack in there in Idaho? Where are you? I just. I'm. Um, Boise, Pocatello. In Rexburg. Where is it? Rexburg. Where's that near? Is that up north? Um, near Pocatello. Near Pocatello. Idaho is so beautiful. Oh, my God. It yes, is a it beautiful is. state. What's going on? How can we help you, Eliza? Um, so a couple of days ago, I started getting this, like, growing pain feeling in my left arm. Are you um, growing? Are you a youngster? No, I'm 21, and I'm actually 20 weeks pregnant right now. Okay, um, gotcha. I have a toddler also. Okay. Well, um, infl inflama pain is inflammation. Inflammation is very typical when you're pregnant. I mean, think about what's going on in your body. You, you got something, you know, you got to the body anyway. You got a foreign invader in there. So inf the inflammatory process is very common. So here's a couple things for you, all right? First of all, you got to go low sugar for your baby, for the health of your baby, and also for the inflammation. Secondly, you want to make sure your digestive system is firing on all cylinders. Again, for you and for your baby, especially fats. Uh, your hormones are all fluctuating. Your estrogen is going through the roof. I mean, y your body is in a very vulnerable, tender state. So you got to be super duper careful with anything that, that hypes it up. And sugar is a bad, is a big, big problem. And any food allergens are a big problem. So make sure your digestive system is working correctly, and make sure you're going low sugar. Uh, you, you do need complex starches, but you'll get those with vegetables. I should say complex okay. sugars. But you'll get those with vegetables. Lots of veggies. Don't go away, Eliza, because we got to take a break. But I'll, we'll finish up when we come back. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll come back with your phone calls and more good health information right after this. Okay, we are back on The Bright Side. Pharmacist Ben here. 844-236-6010 is our number. We're talking to Eliza in Idaho. So I'm going to go quickly here, Eliza, because i got a bunch of calls, all right? So if you uh, write down if you can't write down everything I'm saying or go back to the archives and listen up. Number one, you want to keep your blood sugar stable. Sugar represents a major inflammatory factor. And the, the pain that you're talking about is a sign that you're, being inf that you're inflamed, which is not unusual if you're pregnant. So keeping inflammation down is very important. Sugar, you want to go low sugar, low refined sugar. Uh, you do need, you need to make sure you're eating lots of veggies and veggie juices. You'll get plenty of your, uh, the good sugars that way. Then any digestive issues need to be addressed, especially around fats and fatty vitamins, inflammation and estrogen and uh, pregnancy hormones. A lot of that has to do with fat metabolism. So you want to make sure you're getting your vitamin E, which is wonderfully anti-inflammatory. I'd be doing 400 IU a day of that one. Uh, you want to make sure you're getting your omega-3 fatty acids. You'll get that in the Healthy Star Pack, which you should definitely be on. You want to use your bioluminite the essence, not only for the digestive system, but also for processing hormones and fats. You want to make sure you're using apple cider vinegar after your meals and using digestive enzymes. You may want to throw in some digestive enzymes on an empty stomach uh, if, you're, if your pain is really that severe, although that's not as important as just taking the enzymes with food. And then there's a wonderful, awesome, really cool anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, and blood sugar nutrient called alpha-lipoic acid. Make sure you, you may 
might want to think about 200 to 400 milligrams of that one. Make sure you're using magnesium. You'll get that in the Healthy Start Pack. Very important for the entire circulatory system for blood sugar. It's also anti-inflammatory and has pain-relieving benefits. And I think I mentioned the essential, your omega-3 fats. If I didn't, they're very important for both you and your baby. Fish oil, DHA, EPA, for you and your baby. All right, Eliza, okay, congratulations, too. Yeah? You want to say one more uh, thing? I have been taking calcium. My mom has been having me take the Osteo FX. Okay, that's, um, that's all good. I've been taking that for the past two days, um, but it started in my left arm, went to my right leg, and now it's in my right arm. It's, so it just keeps moving around my body. Yeah, it's, it's going to. It's going to. That's what I'm telling you. It's in the blood. Okay. The problem is in the blood, and the blood moves around the body. So, yes, that will happen. You have inflammatory factors things that cause pain, chemicals that cause pain, floating around in your blood, secondary to probably your lifestyle with all due respect. I'm you know, just saying that because that's how we all are. And then, yeah. not picking on you, and then also uh, uh, the pregnancy will do that as well. All right, take care, Eliza. God, God bless you. Good luck. Get, anything else? Did you, did you want to say something? Should I, keep, should I keep taking the calcium? I would. I, if it was me, I would. Make magnesium balances out the calcium, so make sure you're taking the magnesium. Thanks a lot for your call. Uh, appreciate it. And uh, let's see. Let's go to Mark Markle. Oh, Markle, Dr. Markle. Is that you, Dr. Markle? Yes. Hi, Ben. Hey, Thanks hey for Dr. Markle. Call. What's going on? Um, well, I, I had contracted a foodborne bacterial infection two months ago called Campylobacter. Had okay. severe bloody diarrhea, went on an antibiotic, a Z-Pack. Uh, that must have helped. Uh, well, it, it helped, but the issues never went away. Um, Here's the, but well, Dr. Markle, down. you're a, you're a doctor, so you'll understand. If you take an antibiotic for a problem for a gut problem, what are you going to do to your good bacteria that control the gut health? And that's why I have C diff now. Yeah, of course it is. This is the stupidest strategy, Dr. Markle. You're a doctor. Tell me. Help me understand. They want, to me they want to give me more antibiotics. More antibiotics. Help me understand your, your brethren in the medical community. How can that's you think why I'm this way? I know. <laughs> It's it's mind boggling to me. So I'm here's not the deal. I'm not that's the give, that's vancomycin is when nothing else works. They give you the vanco because nothing else works. So that's what vancomycin is, and now they have vancomycin resistance too. So what are you thinking? You know. So I'm here's the not, not you. Right. I'm talking about your doctors. You're smart. You're calling me. Tell your doctor to call me, and I'll help him out too. So here here's <laughs> the deal. Here's the deal. Good bacteria fermented foods, and put as little in your gut as possible. Your gut has been through World War II, Dr. Markle. Okay? You know, can you imagine your poor little enterocytes, your poor little gut cells? Can you imagine? They're in traumatized. They are in, this, they're like, I saw this thing on, uh, I like watching the History Channel. I like World War II. You know, that's my little thing, yeah. World War II. I saw this thing on World War II at Germany after, in, in 1945, after the war. They showed this little baby sitting on the street in some burnt out, bombed out city, Berlin or whatever, after World War II. And the baby was just crying. It was the most horrifying sight. The baby was sitting there crying in the street was all the, around all these burnt out buildings. And you can only imagine what kind of trauma that baby was going through. Well, guess what? That's your cells and your intelligence. Intestine. They're like that baby. They need I love and nurturing, immediamente. And that means, first of all, putting nothing in there if, if you, that's, that requires work. If you're going to have to eat, I would fast, by the way. But if you have to eat, do liquids. Bone soup is very soothing for the digestive tract. Nitrates from vegetables, nitrogen from vegetables, Doc. If to reestablish the gut environment for the flora. That means celery juice and spinach and all the nitrogen-containing veggies. You know what I'm talking about? Green leafy yes, veggies. Thank you. Okay. Yes, and I have a okay. vitamin. So I can Make juices. Well. Dr. Markle, juice fast for you. That's Perfect. your prescription, juice okay. fast. And then fermented foods, get a book called The Art of Fermentation and make fermented foods. Make your own homemade sauerkraut and homemade fermented foods. Again, to, this is where you're focusing on restoring gut health, not killing things. Now, if you have a serious infection and it's life-threatening, I'm not you know, going to be Pollyannish about that. Maybe you got to do what you got to do. But other than that, you want to be restoring the health of the gut and, and uh, improving the environment for the bacteria to thrive in. Uh, there's something else. I'm going to let you go, Doc, because i got a bunch of calls. But there's something else called inulin, I-N-U-L-I-N. You can get that as a supplement. You can also, it also, it's also in veggies, too. But that will also help with uh, restoring gut health, Elijah too. Silver, can you comment on that? Yeah. You know, that's again, that's the killing strategy. 
I'm not a fan. It's okay. It's not going to hurt you. Just don't take too much. Or even you could take a lot of it anyway. It, uh, that's not the problem, though. We got to restore the environment of the gut so the bacteria can live in there and calm the enterocytes down. You have a major inflammatory condition in there. Got to go, Doc. Thanks so much for your call. Appreciate Thank it. You. We'll talk soon. Bye-bye okay, bye bye. Hey, Ronnie in Texas. What's up? Welcome to the bright side. Ronnie. Hey, Ronnie. Guys, hey, Ronnie. Uh, thanks, for, thanks for taking my call. Sure. Um, uh, just a lady on the blood pressure. I did just half the stuff you gave her, and I'm off my blood pressure medicine. So Praise that. God. Uh, That's awesome, uh, Ronnie. What were you on? I, what, did, what did they put you on? Uh, they had me on Lorsartan and Amelodipine. How'd you feel on those two nasty drugs, by the way? How'd you feel uh, on those? I feel a lot better now that I'm off of them. Uh, can you, you tell? Can you tell <laughs> yes, the difference? Yes. yes sir. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. How can I help um, you, man? I've kind of got a double whammy here. I got uh, hurt at work, herniated two discs. Uh, uh, workman's comp's been dragging her feet for about six months now. Um, are you there? Yeah, yeah, I'm listening. I got about okay, a minute, okay. though. You got to go. I, I, okay, so uh doctor wants to take two of the discs out. Uh, when they did the MRI, they also found that I had avascular necrosis in my femoral heads and both hips. Okay, do you know uh, what, what that's about? Do. do you know what all uh, that means? You're, you're not moving. Remember, we, Ronnie, we're all, I don't know how long you've been listening to the program, but one of the major ideas on this program is everything is simplified. We go right to the basics. You've got a right. blood problem. The blood's not yeah. circulating. Avascular necrosis is when the tissue dies because it's not getting blood supply. Okay, and it's right. not uncommon, especially in conjunction with your discs. That means the discs aren't getting fed with nutrients either. So stuff is starting to get sluggish in your body. Are you in your 40s or 50s? I am in my 50s. I, okay. I'm active. I, I play softball. Five That's good. Weekend. That's all good. That's all good. What do you play, fast pitch? You doing fast pitch or slow pitch or competitive? What are you doing? Uh, competitive, yes. Very good. I used to play a lot of softball myself. Is it uh, like serious stuff? Yes, are you one of those big guys hitting the ball 400 feet? 400, uh, 400 feet? Yes, sir. Is that you? Uh, we just returned from a tournament in Vegas not too long ago. So. No kidding. Are you? And you're still married too, huh? I've never been married. Don't have any kids. So. Oh, that that's ruined my first marriage playing softball. I'll tell you. <laughs> I work and play softball. That's all I do. So. I know. I know exactly what you're talking about. It's an addiction, right? <laughs> I totally. Know. You yeah. play five days a week. You said. Pretty much. Yes. That's awesome. All right. Well, I'm going to tell you well, real quick because well, we're going to run out of time. Until I hurt my back. So. Okay. We'll get you fixed up. All right. So all right. you got to start. You got to start first. First things first. We got to get that blood circulating. That means you want to. If you have any digestive issues, focus on the on the gut. I would be doing a food diary. I'd be. You don't need sugar. That's you're an athlete. You don't need any of that stuff. You don't need any coke. Right. You don't need any desserts. That's that's not for athletes. That's not athlete food. That's not warrior food. You need to eat like a warrior, which means protein, and it means fat and good quality fat and lots of veggies. That should be the bulk of your calories. And by the way, we're all warriors and we're all athletes. So everything I'm saying to Ronnie this is just common. This is just good stuff, good ideas for everybody. Veggie juices. Eat as little as you need, but make sure you're eating enough protein and fat, especially after you work out. You come home from the gym or you come home from, from, a, from a game, protein and good fat, essential fatty acids, and your BTT. Sip on your BTT while you're uh, playing. Do the BTT all day long, the health that's beyond Tangy Tangerine, and the Healthy Start Pack. Make sure you're keeping that blood sugar stable using the B vitamins and chromium and vanadium, and relax. Relax your body. Make sure you're lightening up. Relaxing. Your body repairs when it's relaxed. I'd be doing bone soup as well. I'd also be doing uh, the glucogel caps, maybe 9 to 10 a day. And just for the pain, digestive enzymes, the ultimate enzymes on an empty stomach, have wonderful anti-pain properties. There's tons more, Ronnie. If you want to call back Monday, we could finish up. And I'm sorry if we left you on hold. We left you on hold. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for listening, friends. Have a wonderful, beautiful, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now. Thank you.